let's take a look at charts and graphs in Excel. All right, so if I, um, and also tables. So let's take a quick look at how to rearrange data and get it formatted so it looks kind of nice. So right now this is kind of a mess, right? Well, if I click between the A and the 1, it will select all, and then I can double click between any two rows and any two columns, and it will fit the data perfectly to um, the columns and the rows. Then to create a table, it's really simple. I just click and drag over the data. I want to make a table, and I can go to Insert Table, but guess what? Control T does it instantly, and then I double check that this is what I want. Put a check mark if I have headers up here, which I do, school and name, and click OK. And now I have uh, a perfect table, and I can use these drop downs to sort by school or decide I want to sort by name instead. Notice the little filter icon that shows up on the column. Also, if I just want to take a look at the high school only, I can uncheck select all and click on high school and click OK. And now it's displaying just the high school students. Again, I'm going to see this. Um, little funnel that shows that this column has been filtered and to get all the data back I just come back and click select all. So that's the basics of the table again highlight your data control T and then you have all these little filtering um, at the top as long as you put a check mark in in tables in the headers. Now let's take a look at charting. So let's say I want this into a chart, my data, I would just highlight my chart and instead of the control T, this time we're going to hit the F11 key. If you're on a keyboard, you might need to hold the function key down and hit the F11 and you have an instant chart. And now you're going to see that your chart design and your format tabs have popped up and you'll pay attention to everything in here and everything in the format tab plus if you look over at the side of your chart you see a plus sign you see the chart styles and you see the chart filters so click on the plus you can put check marks if you want data labels here and then you can click on the little arrow and say I want them inside the end um, outside the end where would you like your data labels all of these things can be controlled right here they can also be controlled over here under add chart element you can change the look and feel and the colors of your chart notice that you can also right click on any element in the chart and go to the format the data series and you could change the um, the colors the fill the border around it um, if you want a gradient fill you can pick your colors you can do a pattern you could even put a picture in here so if I wanted to put a school bus like what I see right there and of course in this case I wouldn't want the school bus to be stretched I would prefer to get some stacked ones in there but yes and you can even format the background here format the plot area and then you can put gradients or patterns or lots of different things that you can put um, in the background if you so choose in your chart. Again, it's just highlight your data, find your data, and highlight what you want to make a chart from, and then it's the F11 or function F11, and then you can edit once you go to the F11. Remember that those two tabs are going to come up, right here, format and chart design. And I'm in 2019, 2016 should be similar. If I click outside the chart, or if I notice that the charting two tabs are gone, click on the chart again and they come back. So that should help you with getting charts and tables going.